Hello there, good morning, happy Monday morning to you all, a little bit of a uh, extra stream today, which is nice, having a uh, Monday morning off because it's Easter, so thought what better things to do than jump on here and carry on with a little bit of progress on Aussie No Man's. Um, what's changed? Well nothing's really changed, I've moved all our equipment down here from after the live stream, I thought eh, you don't want to see me driving back and forth all the time, so come down and have a look over here. The bailer put away the wrapper in behind it. Now we'll be getting those out very soon, I hope. Everything going to plan. Spreader there. I've got the Traction King with the plow on the back. Put the truck and bale down, bale trailer down. Also, it's our bale storage area. Using the Fantastic Anywhere Object Storage mod. If you haven't got it yet, go and download it. Give it a good rating. Um, and then equipment over here as well. Got the cedars lined up. Trailer, auger wagon. Combine, build bin, all sorts, everything set up. So that's kind of what we did after the stream. And uh, I just had a, a little bit more of a tidy up. We did a little bit more, in fact, if we just sprint our way up here. Did a bit of tidying up, trimmed these trees and got them out of the way, the ones we had to cut down. And we come all the way up to here. Did a little bit of landscaping just here and tidied up around, around the access into the sheep's area. It's cool. And you can see, and that was a test I had done, and it hadn't done it before. It does look like uh, that way, but we've got grass in there. But I added the grazing mod, so you can see everywhere that I had one of the uh, pastures that has taken the grass off that and uh, added food in, which is good. Um, reason there's a little square in here, I was painting down the meadow grass just to see what I needed to do for that. Um, so that's good. I'm pleased with that. It means that system's going to work the way I'd hoped. Don't know how much grass it's going to give, but it's also a good way to see where the edges of each of the pastures were. I hadn't, that's a, uh, that's an added bonus. Because I want to try and get those fences put in at some stage. So yeah, that's what we've been up to. Um, it's the other thing, I have set up the money correctly. So we've now got a $2 million loan. We've got $9,000 a payment every month uh, spread over 30 years. So it's a very long term loan, but I'm hoping we can pay it off a little bit quicker than that. Um, which leaves us with the money we have in the account, which is $66,000. That's kind of our, our operating money. Of course, we have to buy some seeds, some lime. Um, I do need to do something with field scanning, but what I've actually done, if it's in here, um, somewhere, we downloaded the Iceria, the scout with the longer range. So 32 meters, 65, 130, 260 meter range. So we will go and uh, use one of those. I think, but we'll just end up leasing that. That is the, within my rules is we can lease two pieces of equipment at a time, but no more. Um, and we can use the lease to own mod if we choose to keep something. But that's the plan. Um, I did spend a little bit of time with the tractor here, just going around and making sure everything was working with the wind rower. So see there, got a few, few rows done as well. So we're just going to carry on and getting into this. But that's enough of what's been happening, what's been happening with you, and welcome along. Great to have your company. Say hello to everyone, Farmer Taz. Welcome along. Joe Mama, hello to you as well. I saw you were going to call me out for being late, but managed to get here in time to avoid that uh, that claim. Nice to see you. Uh, Mr. Rusty Money Gaming, the man himself is here. Welcome along, everyone. Welcome along, everyone. Welcome along, Rusty. He's the important one. Hey, you mate. Good to see you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. You haven't caught Rusty live um, make sure you go and check him out on his channel does some amazing streams some of the inspiration behind my setup for this challenge was through one of the challenges he's doing with uh, Crusco Crusto Crusco Crusco gaming set the challenge up that they were working on a lot of them are working on the uh, 200 horsepower challenge on calm land so that was kind of the inspiration behind setting myself a horsepower limit of 300 horsepower to start with um, and also a little bit of the challenge behind the year setting that up so Nice to have you here, Rusty Chinook. Good morning. The most uh, generous man I know. Thank you very much for tuning in, mate. Hope all is well on your Monday morning. Need to get the Land Cruiser V8. I've gone for the uh, Hilux this time around. Looks very similar to the Land Cruiser, Joe. But um, Oh, the other thing I added, and I've tested out, and you can see these little ear patches here. Uh, I added real mower, so next time we mow, we won't get all those um, bushes that don't get mown. So I have gone and added that in too. Tate, how you doing? Good morning to you. Hope you're good, my friend. John Petrie is here as well. Nice to see you. 
Um, g'day, DK. Nice to have you here, mate. Good chatting to you last night. Um, Craig, good morning. Dr. Fish, good morning. Gamer K, good morning. Ben, good evening. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I did start on time this morning, Scooter. Yep. Do you know, so the funny story about that is I think I woke up about five times this morning. I was laying in bed and I thought, I better check my phone. What's the time? And it was like 5 a.m. I was like, what? And go back, roll over and go back to sleep. Um, and then woke up again. What's the time? It's only 6 a.m. Roll over and go back to sleep. I think I did that about five times before it got to like, my alarm was set for 6.40 a.m. And I got up at 6.35. I looked at it. I was like, nah, I'll get up now. Stop looking at my phone. Hey, score Happy Easter to you, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome as always. Hey, you are most welcome, Rusty. I always get a fantastic introduction through your streams as well when I have the opportunity to poke my nose in and say good morning or good afternoon or good evening to you and your community. So my pleasure to return the favour. It was cool watching um, FSG and his crew making a start on the map as well just to see what they were doing, how they were doing things a little bit differently. Um, now I know what I'm going to do right now is a little bit different and not that orthodox, but we're good. Let's go through and some of this all lined up. Make it a bit easier to pick up when the time comes. But yeah, it's very interesting to see their approach to things. It's a train. It's a bit glitchy. I don't know what's, what it does that. It sort of does that every now and then. It's that little flicker. Notice that on a few different spots on the map. But yeah, very interesting to see how they're all playing it, which is pretty cool. Would have been great to be a part of that, actually, and do this on his uh, server, but I don't think I would have been able to keep up with the pace of <laughs> the way that the, some of those are able to commit time to the server. You love the new Hilux. Power mode and echo mode 24 looks nice, but it's very thin. Very thin in its appearance or very thin in its uh, bodywork? I would, uh, Van Dam, hello mate, good to see you, long time no see. Should have got us in there, Joe. I'm just about to start dropping down your expandable pastures when the stream popped up. Nice, good timing. I'm pleased actually that the, um, that the grazing mod, I think I must have, because I activated it in the last time I logged in, and it hadn't done anything, and I thought, oh, maybe I've got the wrong grass painted down, so I'm pleased to be able to jump in this morning and see that it's actually, actually done something means things are working which is good now I haven't changed anything on the server I know FSG's guys have adjusted their silage price uh, we're not going to change anything like that well it's not a race for me with anyone I'm not competing against anyone or anything like that um, I do want to be able to make some progress and I think we're going to need quite a bit of money to progress out of the funk we're in the financial hole we're in Hey Kerim, good morning mate. Nice to see you. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out Mood. Kerim Gaming has uh been chatting a lot and he's been around the community for a very long time. Been doing some awesome streams on PV County and uh you've just made the jump over here to Aussie No Man's from your No Man's game, haven't you? But Kerim's been exploring and testing out streaming vertically, which is a new feature YouTube had added recently, sort of in the last month, the ability to basically stream in a in a portrait format. So he's been doing dual streams, running uh, landscape and portrait, and he's been giving me regular updates on how it's been working out for him, which is, it's been really interesting to see. So thanks again for your insight. Uh, certainly something I want to try and bring to the channel at some stage, just to introduce a new style of gameplay, but I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Oh, don't you see the screenshot on your Discord overlapping sheep and horse pastures and they are co-living in the pasture? <laughs> Guessing you were trying to say co-living. Combining. That's pretty cool. I like doing that. I did that a little. Did I do that in the end? I'm just trying to remember whether I did something. I didn't actually, but um, I was thinking I'd done it on Spectacle Island, but I didn't. But yeah, that's cool. It's awesome. 
If it's genuine, you know, we were chatting about it last night. We were recording our Aussie farms. It's just such a such a basic concept, but um, as I said to him, I was like, I'm I'm intrigued to poke my nose deeper into how it's all coded and prepared and done because it just it fascinates me being able to do things like that and how people come up with solutions and the like to be able to uh, bring new features to the game. It's kind of you know we've talked about it before, things like Terra Farm and some of those other mods that just really add a whole new avenue into the game. Right, just line up on the outside of that tree so we can come past and that last little bit sorted out more visibility. Yeah, definitely what you've been noticing, isn't it? You're sort of exposing yourself to a different crowd. So they kind of, you know, people who are browsing shorts, which seems to be the order of the day, short form content. Um, I'll get your live stream will pop in amongst these short form and gives you an opportunity to just drag them, bring them across, uh, um, bring them across to your channel and get them to interact with you on a um, normal format stream so yeah worth a try right look at that it has not taken very long with this big rake I'm going to limit my my use of um, and I haven't actually installed and you'll see from my selections of equipment I haven't installed too many of the Aussie, uh, Aussie style mods yeah, did I just fold that up? Oh, I did. Here we go. Pressing the wrong button. Um, get that folded up and I'll put it in the shed. But I am yeah limiting the number of Aussie style mods I have installed. Last night was probably the worst night of year and I've had for a lot, quite some time on our server. With disconnects, I think, between the two of us, we probably had seven or eight disconnects over the course of two hours i'm not blaming the mods completely but i do think there's an element in there when using a huge selection of uh untested mods what we say just chance what's gonna actually done with the game yeah yeah i know right um five gen how you doing mate good to see you Blogstar, welcome along as well. You're both good. Happy Monday morning. Bonus Argsy today. I woke up and Mrs. Argsy's like, what are you doing? I'm sure I told her I was going to do this, but perhaps I had not. Drop that off there. Let's go and get this baler up and moving. I do like these Heston Balers. Alright, there we go. It takes forever for the block of wood and everything to disappear. That's the one thing. I love the animations on it. I think they're very clever, but it does take forever to get up and unwrap it. Now, I'm going to play around with the bale size here in just a sec. Pretty sure I put one of the mods on to allow for the larger, larger bales. Well, let's just double check that. Uh, what have we got? We've got 182, 22, 40. In fact, I don't think I did because I want to be able to wrap them. Um, need to make sure the bale wrapper that we're using. Just see where that is. I think it's in here, isn't it? That'll wrap. Ah, it'll only wrap 220 square meter, centimeter squares. So make sure we don't go too big or we won't be wrapping. Move that back down to 220. Um, this could be quite some bales just looking at the size of these windrows. Uh, hold it. Great sounds, like sound engineering on that's fantastic. Right. Oh, I should have put some silage adsive in too. I don't know if I actually need more bales or not. Oh, 
well, this is oh, bouncing around a little bit. There's something wrong with this is the terrain. Now I'm stuck. Hmm. It's not loading well, is it? <laughs> Too big a swath for it to pick up? Who knows? Who knows? Right. Guesstimates on the number of bales we're going to get off this. Any any suggestions? Having a look around. There's a uh, it's a fair bit out there, isn't there? I'm going to go for seventy eight. Oh, seventy. Oh, I reckon we might actually get closer to a hundred. Two hundred DK. I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna do this. Uh, how many bales? Uh, hundred. I'll give you a poll you can vote on. Here's your options. Less than 100, 100 to 150, 150 to 200, 200 plus. And to help you out a little bit, there's our spacing between bales dropping on the swaths. The real answer is always 42 answers everything, isn't it? Score. This is going to keep me busy though, this is a lot more bales than I was expecting. Looks like the tractor's getting caught on the swath. Because the swath actually too big for the tractor to get up and over. Is that what's causing us the issues? I wonder what it is. Right, we'll soldier on. Battle through it. Because we got the bail counter modded through the Kubota DLC, so we can see exactly what we're getting. Um, all right. Roll up touch. Can't have to concentrate on going on straight lines. Um, Truly like, oops, see what happens when you're trying to do two things at once. I'm sure like this map, Western Australia with the fun of no man's. Very nice addition to the map collection. Yeah, definitely, Kerem, definitely is. Such a simple concept too. I guess no man's land in its pure essence was a simple concept, but seems to be a real fascination and enjoyment for people to be able to, I guess it's a, it's a sense of achievement, isn't it? Building and creating your own farm. So I guess what the, that's what these kind of maps bring to people. Is that sense of en sense of enjoyment? Hit the like the like button half of you being lazy. Look at that, fifty six viewers sitting in here. Twenty five likes. Assuming mine is up to date and synced correctly. Interesting actually when I run around maybe around these trees and we do a smaller swath whether we have the same issue but I've never experienced anything like this. It goes all right around like the corner there where I think the swath might be a little bit smaller or more spread out but it's literally like the rear axle or something's getting caught out on the swath size. Strange one. 
Very strange. It's a John Deere, I need to lower my expectations. Hey Adam, how are you doing? I definitely need to concentrate though. Goodness, I can hardly look away from the screen or I'm going to be sliding off that swath. Off the wind rose. Pure tractor work to be had, that is it. Like always, you got to use number 49, but you're going for 149. Fair enough. You're a 49ers fan through and through, aren't you, Rusty? Rusty would have a ball on this map. And if it's on console, it's cool. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I have to get a special Thor edit on this. I was going to put the... Yeah, I think I did put the... The mod on which can create the two times or four times bales. I'm sure I did, but let's go back and look. Alright, should we have a... Uh, have an update on bale numbers. One lap done. One lap done and we've made 19 bales. 19 bales and we've got what, 20 windrows across there? 10 bales a pop? It's 200. Yeah, my, my initial estimate was going to, is well, well and truly light. I was actually thinking we might actually get into plowing today but based on the current situation that is not going to happen. I'm also just thinking I don't have a, um, a three-point implement or anything I can put on the back of this tractor to give us some weight. Everything's tow behind so we might be a little bit bought short there too. Good luck picking out the bales. Yeah. yeah, read my mind, DK. Read my mind. That is one of my big hopes for the console players is that the next edition of the game will see some bigger um Bigger, bigger maps being supported. You can imagine if they drop straight out of the box a four times map as a as a demonstration of technology that they're able to do it. That'd be pretty cool. I've obviously spent a you know it's been something that I've thought about because I've been testing over the past few years. You know, all I had Renabu a, a 16x map, eight kilometers by eight kilometers or whatever sizes. Mappers, um, they had that in testing, I'm trying it out just to see what would happen. So, pretty cool. Manual, yep, manual load on the bales, Legion. No auto load here. Ah, oh, I might actually have auto load installed. We'll see how we go. They could. There's, there's a challenge between. Realism and progress is that that hard, hard juxtaposition between trying to play as authentically as I can and still getting some progress made in the limited time I have. That we will see. Hey, Looney Farm guy, welcome along, mate. Good to see you. How soon before I bail out this field? Don't know. Or bail out of this field. <laughs> Give up on it. Uh, I'm I'm committed. Minute for the long haul. One of those cases that the headlands will feel like they take forever 
And once we get actually into the field itself, things will go a lot faster. Always happens. Ah, part of your hint to get Rusty to invest in the dark side. He's got a gaming PC, you got a gaming laptop, eh, Rusty? He just stays true to his roots. I, I think it's cool. I think just off the top of my head, Rusty and Mr. CLP are the only two diehard console players that I can think of. Hey, Benji, how you doing? Just, they can do it just not on the older consoles. That was my my understanding as well, Legion. So, again, I'm hoping that we're going to see it because the older consoles possibly may not be supported in the future. Reverse is not supported by this tractor, apparently. I'll stop clicking through it. I just didn't like doing it with that lowered down. Is he go fund me for rusty money map mate? Rusty money map making. Oh goodness. Oh, lower the pickup Arxy. People say you should be committed. Oh, you're on PS5 as well. There we go. Can't PC Rusty. No, no. no stay true to yourself, Rusty. Don't give in to these guys. Pressure. Hey Hanson, how you done? Taking a trip to Hawaii, have you? Vidan79, hello from Norway. Greetings to you from New Zealand. Not quite as far away around the world as we could possibly get. I think New Zealand, if you go straight through, the Earth centre comes out somewhere in Spain. So that's the uh, complete opposite side of the world from us, but not far off. I think Rusty would be a brilliant map maker. I agree. If you've watched any of Rusty's content where he builds farms, then I mean, that's pretty much every series he does, he ends up building something. Um, does he have some great vision on it? He sees a trap once you get sucked in. Yep, and your game never runs the same ever again. Suddenly, you have access to all these dark side of the internet. Good morning, Finnish farmer. How you doing? Nice to have you here. Happy Sunday evening for you all. Monday afternoon. Cracking into Monday morning here in New Zealand and uh, enjoying a day off work. Right. Headland's done. What's our count? We're going to have, we want to crack 40, will we? 37? 35. Alright. Uh, we're not going to get too far over 100, I don't think. A third of the way there. We've done a third of the field. I think I reckon the hundred to one hundred and fifty options, looking like it should be the winner. I'm just looking at the vote, might be the, might be the winner there. Probably some people going through and changing. Is it a Heston Baylor? It certainly is, Dan. It certainly is. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's the tractor size not working with it or what it is, but it seems to be bouncing around a little bit. We're making it work. G'day Andy, how you doing? Enjoying Easter? I am enjoying Easter. Thank you. I caught up with some friends for dinner last night. I uh, had a day at a football tournament. <clears throat> Managed to get my ride on lawnmower running again. 
having to replace some belts and figuring out all of the logistics with that. Managed to flood the engine on it massively, remove the spark plug, cranked it over and it just spat petrol everywhere out of the spark plug. Hole, um, but now it's running again, I managed to mow the lawns yesterday. Hopefully my old man's coming down today with the tractor and we're gonna, we've got a tree branch that fell down and it's quite high up where it uh, hasn't completely fallen out of the tree, it's still sort of hanging up there. It's quite high up in the tree so we need the tractor to get it down. So hopefully he's coming down today at some stage. That will be standing in a tractor bucket with a chainsaw. Just normal farming life really, isn't it? Love the Hestons for Dan, nice. Nudge that one out of the way. <clears throat> Did none sort of had overlooked is that there by default is an Anderson Bale pusher in the game. Didn't actually notice that. I was looking through the weights and that the other day. Hey farming sons, how you doing? Good to see you, Olaf, good morning. Welcome along. Any missing easter eggs? Well they're not missing, I know where they all are, but you can't see them anymore, Olaf. So I guess does that make them vanishing easter eggs? Not sure, not sure exactly. Hey farmer JP, welcome. Nice to see you. Another healthy stream this morning. Nice to have you all here. I was saying the FSG last night, it was awesome to to almost touch 70 viewers at one stage. Yesterday, going through uh, Southern Pastures, playing on the multiplayer server. Um, so awesome again to have such a wide, uh, wide cross section of the community here. Including Farmer JP tuning in from South Africa. Oh, we, it's, we're creating a lot of bales, but it's not actually taking as long to get through this as I thought. The benefit of the big windrower is paying off. Is it, now I wonder, now is it a weight thing? Are we getting an issue when the tractor, when the bales are getting right out the back of this pickup, that it's lifting the back wheels up? Is that maybe my issue? Does it happen when that bale gets close to the end of the pickup? Let's see. Yeah, it's getting rougher now. See, I think that might be my problem. And then it'll, does it disappear when the bale falls off? Yeah, it does. Uh, maybe not. No. Although that one was getting close to falling off too. Definitely seems to calm down there for a period and then once you get a bale further out on the chute it becomes a little bit more unstable so yeah not sure could be that so the next job's going to be running through wrapping all of these which is going to be a blast now course play and auto drive not that there's any auto drive route set up and ai workers are all permitted um but they are being paid a wage if i use anything like that so We'll, um, we could always set course play up doing some bale wrapping, see how that works. Don't think it'll detect the field though, that'll be the only downside and I'll have to go around and record one, so. We'll see, we'll soldier on. Not too much more to go actually. I reckon. Oh, mm. The speed we've got through this, I reckon we're only just, we, I, I'm almost going back on my earlier estimate of 78. To be perfectly honest with you. Hit the like button. Yes, everyone. Welcome along. Nice to have you here. If you haven't already dropped a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. If you could take the time to do that. Helps the YouTube algorithm.
what I want to do is get this field all uh, cleared out and ploughed. And then we'll get this one planted and growing and then we can move on to creating another one. I didn't want to just go through and create one big field. I kind of wanted to build a farm up with multiple fields. So we might actually have to... Here's another challenge. <clears throat> Let's have some suggestions for field names. What could we call this field? I'll bring up the map in just a sec as we drive back along here. Um, you go. That's kind of, you can see the outline of it. That's what it looks like. It's the first field we've made. What are your suggestions? It's the field of dreams. Hey, Kiwi Gaming, good morning. The whale. Looks like a cat. Froggy. Amazing how you will go to her. Uh, what it looks like. You can see the whale. Oops. <clears throat> Still don't get what Algie's rhythm does for YouTube. Tell you what, I can't figure it out half the time either, Mark. Still no right one reason for it. Give that one a nudge out of the way. Right, I'm going to end the poll there because we're getting close. We're sitting at 100 to 100 and... 100 to 150 was the... In fact, there's only 14% of you, 47 votes, said less than 100. And I reckon we're going to end up less than 100. So if you're in that 14%, 47 votes, that's only, what, 7 of you, 6 or 7. And give yourselves a pat on the back. But we'll see. I don't want to jump the gun and pull the result just yet. A bit premature of me. But with this, just this one long pass left and then a couple of shorter ones. Not too much left here. Get picked up. So the whale, cat, froggy. Well, you've just said it looks, that definitely looks like a cat. Where's the cat? Describe the cat to me. Just the cat's head? I'm looking, I must be looking at it the wrong way, Chinook. Look at that magic, 72 people tuning in now, awesome. Welcome in, if you've just joined, welcome along here to my playthrough on Aussie No Man's. It's uh, an opportunity to build our own farm and go from where we are now, $2 million in debt using the loan system, to creating a $20 million farm. So I'm going to judge the $20 million on capital value, um, how much equity do I end up with in the farm? It doesn't have to be cash, it can be equipment, it can be land. Um, basically I want the ability to be able to take a $20 million loan. It's basically how the loan system seems to work. So when we get to that point, it'll be happy days. But it's only our second day here. We've built the farmyard last week. Um, got things sort of set up loosely how I want it. I'm still not satisfied with the farmyard, but there's some more improvements we can make. And this is going to be our first field, which we need a name for. Had some suggestions. The whale, froggy. Looks like a cat. <laughs> We're going to go plow the field that looks like a cat. Legs forward with the legs under him. Right. Based on me picking up all the grass. 
Right. I can show you what my next mod's going to be, Looney. I've got them both here. Marcus, good evening from Germany. Good evening to you. Welcome along. Thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in. Some wonderful German people when I had, was at FarmCon last year. Such a... Um, such an easy place to be. Was. A couple of Kiwis from the other side of the world. Absolutely no drama, no trouble, nothing. Helped helped for a couple of days having Omatana with us who is well versed in uh, translation and communication. Uh good morning, Mrs. Professor. Well good afternoon to you. Nice to see you again. I saw you comment on the last video. Yeah, we did get uh, I can't remember at what stage we were at when you left, but we did get a decent amount done. Got the field mode. And uh, we've now got a wind road and picked up and we're just getting to the last row here. Uh, we had a little poll running to see how many bales we were going to end up with. Um, my initial guess was 78, then I sort of got a few hundred meters into the field and saw how quickly the bales were dropping and reviewed my decision. Narrowed it down to more than a hundred. Um, then I got about three quarters of the way through and thought that 78 might actually be not far off. So we will see in just a sec. Scooter's telling me there's probably about 10 bales with the grass left out there, but I don't think I've done that bad a job. Not much floating around, is there? Might be enough to make one more bale, see if we can get that. Last three and a half thousand, or do we need two and a half thousand picked up? But it's not, I can only really see that one big stripe there. A few bits and pieces here and there, but not a huge amount. What's the literage of the bales you can't quite see? Um, they must be about six thousand litres, are they? I'm only making the two 20 centimetre bales because they'll only wrap that size. See, I'll pick that bit up. I'm not. I could spend forever going around trying to get one more bale out. I'm not going to bother doing that. Check those two out. Fold it up. And, moment of truth, let's get over here and have a look. Pretty impressive from here, doesn't it? So, let's bring up our menu. 78 was my first guess. The poll has said 100 to 150. But the majority, the vast majority, have said more than 100. There we go. How's that for a number? How is that for a number? No one would have picked that 69 bales, just short of 70. Um, <clears throat> do I have the early map? No, I don't actually. I've been meaning to put that one in and use it. I haven't used it yet. There we go. It's only 69. I mean, after that start, I would have, I would have sworn that we would have got more than 100. Alright, uh, where are we going to put this? I'll just back it in here. Right in front of the mower, between the mower and Winrow. Kind of. Amazing how I've got all these sheds and I'm still having to stack equipment because I haven't organised it very well. Kind of wanted to keep all the grass equipment down this end. If you haven't seen the animation on this stand, it's pretty cool. Works very well. They'll wrap in time. Steve Bussey, um, let's go and look at those literature of those bales. Michael, how you doing? Good to see you. Andy, you're building the LR 13,000. Oh, I'm very envious. I would love to have that one. Um, Let's have a look. Let's get that bale picked up and going. Right. And have a look at these bales. Uh ah, oh, because I've got um unit convert on it saying it's five five nine four, but I'm pretty sure that's six thousand litre bales. 
Like we went for the Aussie Aussie gold wrap too. Right. We'll line up better than that on it too, Arxy. Come on. It's wrecked. That tire, the back wheel to give it a little nudge. Right, let's see if I can organise these in a way, it might make it a bit easier to stack. I'm doing well, Michael. I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Now, have I got. Can you turn on automatic drop? You can for these. Let's do that. A good start so far, is it? <laughs> Rocky. Hey Tam, how you doing? Good to see you. We actually don't want the automatic drop on now, just thinking about it. You can end up with them falling out when I don't want them to. It's rigged. So rigged. The box does say 69. Did you guess that Blogster? I'd have to go back and look. That's awesome if you did. My kids would be very proud. They have no idea. They just see it on other content. Like... Sounds inappropriate too, but... You know what I'm saying. Field sizes can be yeah, field sizes can be deceiving, Rusty. Oh, look at that! Use that wheel, that back tire, beautifully to just flick it around a little. Hey, Corp, how you doing? Good to see you. It's huge. The crane, I bet you, yeah. It's on my list. It's it's one of those um, I wouldn't say unicorn sets I really want to have that are probably a little bit out of reach at the moment but the thing is the thing I the thing I hate with Lego the most is if you don't get it now you're gonna miss out on it like I'm gutted I never picked up a, a class Zerion and now it's just about impossible it's not impossible to find but the price people are asking for it is astronomical Ninety people, crikey! We're onto a winner. Monday morning streams. Perhaps I'll start work late normally. Enjoying the downtime, short as it may be. Yeah, it does does fly past. We took a day out with the kids' football on the weekend too, and that definitely definitely made things fly. You went back and looked because so you thought someone guessed that. Well, there we go. Good work, blog star. Sure they don't know the context of the number. They better not. Hey Curiosity, how you doing? Map, you're really enjoying good to see a stream on it. Thank you, mate. Keep an eye out, um, I know FSG's gonna be streaming on it quite a bit from his multiplayer server that they set up and got started yesterday, so it's a couple of us looking at it and playing around on it. Rapper reminds you of the old school lumber hauler. Good one, Sal. Whoa, actually wanted that at it, but came away with the crane. Both good sets. That's another one I'd love to get too. Those uh, big walkers look awesome. Solo on Finnage setting up auto drive is taking way too long. Can you can spend hours getting auto drive working correctly? You're staying away from the gates this evening, Tim. Nice one. Nice one. I'm going to say Hanson, what did you do? You, you'd spent three days away and then spent 15 hours playing farm sim yesterday. What a boss. Do I have a Smith's? Do we have a Smith's Toys in New Zealand? No. no not a retailer we have.
Where are you loving the JD, by the way? I used to love the 44, 40, 90, but somehow the 44, 40s and 22 don't really do the same for me. I think, I'm, I feel the same actually. This is the first time I've used these. Um, what is this one? Is this 47 or 49? Yeah, it's the first time I used these 55 series trackers. It's the 49, 55. Um, I used the 44, 40s and that 40 series tractor by Black Sheep Modding heaps in 20 and 19. I think it was just having something different. You know, the, it just felt more of the same last time. I also didn't like some of the configurations they did with it. I don't know what it was about it. But some of it just didn't sort of yeah, float my boat either. Well, this is going to drop before I get it in this position. Oof, just. Bought it for Christmas from Argos for 580s back up to 740 ish now. Yeah, you got to keep an eye out for the sales. You can get. Sometimes get, well, I've got 15% off Lego at the moment and some retailers for Easter sales. Um, hopefully you can get some 20% sales occasionally. Just depends what you want. Down in Christchurch on the mainland in about 40 hour, uh, 10 hours into the map. Nice. Nice. Always nice to have another Kiwi in chat. Have fun off the family for Easter dinner. Have fun, guys. Cheers, Corp. Nice to see you too, mate. Catch you again sometime soon. You missed Farmsome. <laughs> well, we missed you in Farmsome too, Hanson, so it's good to have you back. Hey, FSG. How you doing, mate? Hope you have had a good Sunday. Nice to see you. Same before we had a uh, interesting, interesting couple of hours last night on uh, Aussie Farms with Probably what has been our worst night on the server in terms of server issues, disconnects and things like that. So I'm sure plenty of people have figured out from the poll that we've shared about map selection that we will be moving somewhere new, greener pastures, sometime soon. So look forward to having a fresh challenge. We've got 140 pounds off the crane, that's a uh that makes it a worthwhile saving, eh? I think when my wife bought me the Millennium Falcon on my birthday she managed to save to have it twenty percent off, which was three hundred New Zealand dollars. Which um I showed some of you the Lego yesterday, the case tractor, the fourteen fifty five, which was in a little bit of an accident. Um well, unfortunately the Millennium Falcon, which sits on a coffee table in our living room, was introduced to a tennis ball last week, and that's also in need of some TLC. So we've got a bit of a Lego hospital going on. That might be if uh, if I get a chance later on today, that might be a job for a long weekend. We did have a crash fest. It was. It certainly was. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Sounds just not as good. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Didn't tick the boxes. Belly spring, not belly spring, belly spring, not belly spring. It's actually a case of surprise. We're going to China. Mars. <laughs> we'll go to Mars. Suckers. Sucked you all in with our pole. Thinking we were going somewhere else, but we're not. Falcon got hit by an asteroid, I know, <laughs> it did. They were trying to escape a TIE fighter. When does that happen? It's like five, isn't it? Empire Strikes Back. Fluorescent yellow mini Death Star. <laughs> I've seen lots of examples of the Falcon inside a glass coffee table. Um, ours is sitting on, we've got a bright yellow coffee table, actually very similar colour to these 
bales, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it's a a faux pallet. It looks a lot like a timber pallet, but it's made out of uh, nicer timber than that. It's a DIY jobby. It's an Arxy special. Um, but I wanted to get a Perspex case made up for that. But some people have made some awesome dioramas with them sitting in the glass coffee table. Lights and all sorts floating around. Be cool. Chance to get the ornithopter. It's a great build and looks amazing. Is that the is that the one from is that one from it's from a video game? Is it what I'm thinking about? Sure, to be honest. Um, now, have I got? I do have time to go and stop check. Here we go. We ended up with three hundred and eighty thousand liters of grass. Not much value for grass, is there? What's selling that? So, how does that compute with seventy bales? Thousand, well, less than six thousand. Hmm. June, thank you. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. What are people's preferences? Tahitian County or Alma? Um, I haven't spent any time on Alma scooter, but from my time on Tahitian County, um, I would say Alma just from a map optimization point of view. Um, Tahitian's a nice looking map, but it's just one of those cases and it's a lot like um, Medicine Creek was in 19. And I did have a quick look around MRGZ to that yesterday. Um, but it's one of those cases of too many trees causing too many issues. I just don't see the need for having forested areas as dense as they are. Like you could you could skinny out so many trees in the middle of those areas and not have lost anything in the context of the map. But right, we're gonna start creating another stack over here somewhere. Here will be good. in a game store last week and they had a massive wall of Lego glad I didn't have any money to spend uh, that's the thing I take the kids to toy stores so I can look at the Lego you guys go enough and have a look see what you can find Mrs. is obsessed with the Harry Potter Lego, even though she hasn't watched it and won't. She's got the bank and the owl and the hat so far. Nice. Got friends who are collecting all the different cars. I've suddenly picked up a fascination with the Lego as well. Winks. Tahitian was good, except for the trees and bushes, yeah. Plus one for that. FSG's a plus one for Alma. Just anything that's been through, through testing is always good. Is the Oaks an option? Is the Oaks an option for what? For what FSG and I are doing or for um a scooter's question? Definitely though, because it's a nice map and can't wait to see Briscoe's work on it. I think he's, uh, from a message he sent me last night, he's getting a bit closer to having things just about ready. It's awesome. But just the effort he's gone into things. He's made custom fences, which not only has he used in the map, but he's actually made them as a placeable to be able to be used for customising things. That's just awesome. <clears throat> hey Mark, how you doing? Nice to see you, welcome. This map reminds you of the western side of the Riviera in New South Wales. So whereabouts in New South Wales is the Riviera? Curiosity. I 
I've been through to Bathurst and into Orange and that sort of thing in New South Wales. Um, many years ago, I did go between drove between Melbourne and New South Wales as well. But I can definitely see, apart from it's not quite as rolling as that sort of area, I can definitely see some similarities. Wagga Wagga. Okay. That's kind of, Wagga Wagga is further inland from Orange, isn't it? I'm right. <clears throat> You always go to look at toys with the kids and spend plenty of time in the Lego section. Macro counties in Iowa playing are the maps you're liking at the moment. Nice. Has anyone seen uh, this one called Coming Home, which is asylum modding? Now, I remember checking out some of asylum modding's work really early in the release of FS22. A couple of maps they brought through, but um, coming home, which I know Farmer Klein has done a map preview on. Um, interesting looking map. Another one worth checking out if you're looking for an American map. <clears throat> got you the first time, Mark. I saw you. Hi, hi. Now we've got a hi. Are we going to get a hello? Loads? Yeah, it's, it's funny, isn't it, Andy? There has been a lot of people have jumped on that. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that caught my eye that there was a lot of them doing it, and I was like, oh, that's... Yeah. I kind of hadn't ever picked my interest as something to... um. Is a map to do any content on? I don't know. Right. Hey PC Taz, how you doing? With Farmer Taz there as well. We're getting a uh, double down on Taz's tonight. Been a long time since we've had a double or triple down on Taz. Nice to see you though. Nice to see you. Saw your little message on Facebook the other day in that chief history when I were talking about it last night about, you know, people we hadn't seen in the community for some time. So it's nice to see you back, buddy. Respect to your decisions as well. Yeah, it's because it's different. I think people are getting ready for a new farm sim. I think people are getting ready for a new farm sim because they're expecting a new farm sim. I reckon if Giants had come out with even a season pass that only had two DLCs in it or something like that and had made some commitment to a game, then people wouldn't be looking for that. I mean, when I say some commitment, some commitment to this game for the year, then people wouldn't be looking for that. But I kind of, it feels at the moment like, you know, we've just, since the premium expansion with Zelonka and all the new equipment there, I'm just, I'm just from Giant's point of view, I, it almost feels neglected. There's no no comment on DLCs. Um, there's, there's just nothing. It's just been radio silence. So I think people are like, oh, new game's coming. We'll just wait for that. And if it's, you know, we've said about you know, view numbers and even we've noticed that content creators in general, there seems to be less content coming out than there has been. And I find it hard to go through and, you know, I used to be able to sit down and watch videos for hours and I find it actually hard to find stuff to watch. So many Taz is emerging. Well, PC Taz is, uh, is formerly known as Polycount Taz. So this is not a new emerging Taz, it's a re-emerging Taz. It's been hibernating. Oh, Pickles playing American trucking. Some of the weather effects needs to come from so That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? You don't do the new root crops. Are we going to get there? Boom, timed it perfectly. Rugby season for you soon, Brock. Nice. <laughs> Mm 
you're enjoying Mark's extras for his harvester. He was talking about the Easter down stream. Andy. Should we talk about what a poor expansion Sinlonka was compared to Silveron? It was, on reflection, it, it was pretty disappointing, wasn't it? Considering the new features that they brought with Silveron, with the forestry, with the yarders, the visuals in the map, um, I think they had another year to develop that and they came up with a Polish map that's not as, oh sorry, an Eastern European map that's not Polish. An Eastern European map that's not even as good as some of the Eastern European modern maps is a little bit of a shame. I called her the Tazers from around the community. You got the horn, sounded the horn out the window, and the Tazers all came out from hibernation. <clears throat> Only got the last DLC for the root crops, not for the map. No new gameplay or improvements. No, I mean, I'd, I'd say ridging and new crops, but the tech required for the new crops and that really wasn't that impressive. I reckon there was as much innovation came in the horse pack with the way the weeders aligned with the rows. Ah, uh, anyhow. <laughs> Giants couldn't make a good map of a giant tennis ball was hurtling through space and about to hit their spacecraft. And I can tell you how that ended. I was very, I must admit, I was very calm and assured. I think I'd almost expected it to happen. There's been some very near misses and it is my risk by having it sitting on a coffee table in the middle of our living room. Went on it once and just merged loads of fields. Surprised. Versatile DLC would be nice. Leaves appear in full. And the grass changed colour. Don't forget the grass changing colour. Silver Run. Yeah, Silver Run was epic. I'll give them that. They definitely did a did a pretty decent job with the forestry. That is a bold statement saying it's the best logging map out there. It is a very bold statement. Depends on the style of logging you want to do. Definitely gave lots of different avenues, but at the same time, if I was going to compare it to forestry, just for what I'm familiar with and logging and that, um, you know, with more plantation forest, it didn't have that real strong plantation forest vibe, just because of all the variety of trees and that sort of thing. But some of the things, even like the deadwood contracts, was pretty cool. You believe to spray your trees. Some little little things out there. Like a few years suck at logging. Well, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do with all these trees on here at some stage. They're going to come down, but I just have to figure out whether I'm going to do them with, um, with 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 a chainsaw or with a tree trimmer, I'm, I'm almost tempted to wood chip them all. To be honest, a chipper and try that out. See if we can make some money off wood chips. Not something I've done much. Also, really disappointing. Some of the map makers took out some of their custom crops to make room for the new root crops for the DLC. Yes, they make the map to be able to use root crops DLC only. I know Dace has had some troubles. He's been wanting to make his potato equipment compatible with carrots and that sort of thing, but struggled to get them to kind of accept that. Heard No Man's Land is having a huge update, not sure if it's true though. It's been on the testing list, Andy, so there is some updates coming for it, I just don't know what they are. I haven't seen any communication around that. But yeah, there definitely is going to be a No Man's Land update from what I've seen. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to get that bail in the way. Turn automatic drop off on this one. Lumberjack mod for the win. 100%. Alright. 
All right, let's let's head down this way. We'll do one more row in here. Use a handsaw. <laughs> Coffee time, don't I've got, I've got a little bit left in there, Andy, but it's getting cold. Have I tried the realistic sawmill? Uh, I haven't, Karim, I haven't used any of that sort of stuff. That's that, the animated one, you mean? Use the wood help mod, the chainsaw is really effective and cheap. Take a squiz at that one, Scooter. I've had an order for some cake donuts, so one sitting around. What is a cake donut? I need a photo score. Sounds delightful. Delightfully bad. <laughs> You're setting the map up for crops as I don't normally do animals. Fair enough, curiosity. I'm just looking at the animals as a avenue for secondary income. Lumberjack for the win. Uh, hey Alex, how's it going? I'm doing good, thank you. Hey, trying to read chat and not watch where the bales were. Brilliant front wheel tap to get the bale aligned. Skills. quite like bending an axle. I've told the story before but with our Ford tractor when I was doing some bale loading I had the um the tie rod that connects the two steering axles basically snap on me. I wondered why the tires were facing in different directions while I was trying to load bales. I probably don't want to whack into things too frequently. Not that I whacked into a bale. Actually, I think I dropped it into a, um, there's a hole, hidden hole in the field. I managed to drop the wheel in that. That might have been what did it. Now I'm going to whack into the bale beside me. Skills and then amateurism. <laughs> Too many tests here. I was wondering what you were talking about. <laughs> hey, come on. The animated one. Oh yeah, worth checking out. We will have next time. Uh, you'd like to see more of that content? I think it's interesting, especially in the next game. The animated stuff. Yeah. Again, talking to Dazed about his potatoes, I've said, you know, could you animate stuff like they have with the straw harvest pack with his bagging machines and things? He just said it's too difficult. The way the game is too hard to do. Or you're not allowed to do it or something. No man's land up, I'd always say you never know what's coming when Alien Jim goes silent. <laughs> very true, very true. Right, we are just about done when we were down to our last two, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bales. Well, I think we should be good to get these loaded and out of the field and at least start getting this ploughed. Good. That'll mean come Wednesday night and we'll spend some more time here as I'll be able to um able to get some crops on the ground. We don't get the chance to start that today. Field scanning done as well. <clears throat> Cake donut is pure deliciousness. Rusty needs to sc school Argy on donut varieties. I do. I need an education. Alien Jim's been quiet. He has been quiet. I think it's a good thing when map makers go quiet because they're focusing on their mapping. No, 
Found someone to finish off your cultivate. Nice, Taz. That's cool. Yeah, shame for that work to have gone to waste. Spectacle Island should have come to 22. Love the series on it at 19. Yeah, it would have been nice to have seen that. Isn't it great how I managed to do four really well organized rows and then I've got this abomination? Not good, not good. Right. Keep on trucking. Get this all finished off. Um, Thank you everyone for joining. I do want to say it. I've said it a couple of times, but if you've only just tuned in, appreciate you being here. If you've been hanging out for the last hour or so. Um, Thank you very much for staying with us. It's always nice to have some chat. It's always nice to uh, nice to be able to do a bonus stream. I said Easter Monday, day off. What better way to start off? And I didn't sleep in this morning too, which is a bonus. Um, but yeah, like I said yesterday as well, we will be we've changed around the schedule a little bit with the streams. Weekend's going to be multiplayer streams, so that will be when we jump on the servers and get some work done there, whether it's uh, Shellbrook, Southern Pastures. Something like that. Um, so if you want to join in on those multiplayer servers, make sure you're on Discord. Uh, the Southern Pastures one is for channel members only. It's a little bit of a uh, reward and thank you for them, to all of you. Um, but Shellbrook's open to absolutely anyone. And sounds like from Hanson's post this morning that there is quite a bit of work to be done on Shellbrook this month. So if you're able to get on and help, um, there will be something there to do. Auto load trailer, no auto load. I, I can't even remember if I installed auto load, auto load, auto load or not, Andy. I honestly can't can't recall. I think these ones are so far away. I'll take one down with me. And I only have to make one more trip over here. Big A's birthday. Who's, who are you talking about, Big A? Andy? Hey Bo, good morning mate. Happy Monday. This one is a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting donut. Nice. Hey Thomas, how you doing? This is a sneaky stream it is. Make the most of a day off. Right, last two bales. He's taken over there, get these last two wrapped and then we are at Max out loading time. Not handy farming. I'm trying to figure out who you're talking about. Big A's birthday. Oh. You've caught me on the hop, Karim. To catch you on the next one, it's breakfast. Oh, enjoy breakfast, curiosity. And enjoy your time here on Aussie No Man's. You're not sure about the cake donuts, but any dough with sugar and cinnamon is thinking looking good in your opinion. Amen to that. Right. Now we're going to get on to the part you've all been waiting for, which is to watch me try and load these all up. I know that's secretly why you've hung out. 
Oh, he has a channel. He watches streams from time to time. Ah, thank you, Karen. Thank you. Love a good custard donut, Steve. He's a great individual in the community and has a smaller channel. Thank you, Rusty. Much appreciated. Very hard work trying to keep up with everyone. Uh, Looney, 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 Looney. Are you still here? You're asking about next mods. So that is one of them there. That's uh, my bulk bins, which have a buy trigger in them to buy lime. Lime on the left, fertilizer in the middle, and stones on the right. Um, and on top of that, so I've got the bulk on there. Um, I've done little standalone bunkers. So I've got one for lime, one for fertilizer, one for manure, one for stones. And then on top of that, silos. I put it now. Yeah. Just an empty one. So if you wanted to be able to dump, say, stones in, for example, I wanted to have stones. That is that one. And then I've also got these, which I've been working on. It's just a Kiwi style pole shed. We've got a three bay, four bay, which is slightly taller, slightly deeper, and then a much larger five bay one. I'm over here to show you. Um, and they will all come with somewhere. Um, no, it's just not one. Oh, where are they? Silos, under silos. Somewhere with an option for um, bale storage, for the object storage in them. I haven't set up the five bay one yet, but. That's what I have been playing around with, testing out my blender skills, taking a little bit of my architectural creativity. Not that I'm that creative, but just learning some of the functions and features and like how to add the snow map and that snow mask and that to things. So that is what I have been playing around with. There's nothing earth shattering, but nice to nice to use do those to learn a few extra skills. All right, let's get this out. We're going to grab the truck and we'll get into it, eh? 1.2 hours on this tractor already. Now I know I shouldn't be putting forks through these bales, but if anyone come up with an easier way, I'm all ears. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lift two of them. I'm going to lift two of these at once. I was hoping I'd be able to. That's why I kind of lined them up this way. I don't have anything to put on the back. I don't have a weight. Nothing. Oh yeah, just. Just. Uh, right. No water around for the popcorn. No, I think he's talking about the bale stacking. Um, so let's just have a look. Do I have... No, no auto load. No auto load on the trailer. So there we go. That answers that question. Got a picture of the donut in the Discord. Nice, I'll be checking that out, Scorp. And salivating over it, no doubt. You want the new 9RX by the end of the month? Done. Okay, maybe maybe we're just a little bit adventurous. On two bales. Doesn't help that I've slid forward on the Forks either. I slide completely sliding off the forks actually. Hmm, what's gonna be quicker? Slowly doing two or just loading one? Look. End of the month's fine. Fortunately, it is the first of April here. April Fools. I'm not making the 9RX. 
Sounds like an interesting new UV pack master add-on. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing that makes the job a little bit easier. As long as there's some instructions on how to use it, Taz. Not going to get many bales on this trailer at a time, are we? We've got a weight. I should have got a weight. Oh, don't tip over bail. You know what I'm going to do? Let's try this. To stop them sliding, we've got these grabs on the front of this thing. Okay, puts them in. Yeah. Hopefully that'll hold on to them and stop them sliding. Um, we have five minutes to make the Zells Planter too. Zells Planter would be great to have in game. The only downside, I just never liked the animation on the folding of it. Oh look, they didn't even hold on. Interesting. Started off so nicely, now it's getting all janky. Could get three on there. If I had a weight on the back, I could. I'm just trying to think, I don't have anything that is a um, three point hitch. It would be easy to put on here as a weight, unfortunately. Contract a vid out. Which one's that? Are we still in the UK today? Days. Two is about one too many, not two too many. few loads here isn't there if we can only take what have we got on there at the moment eight sixteen and maybe eighteen is that four loads loads will do it fastest bale stacker in the lower central west north island thank you that was the um <laughs> that was the title I was aiming for, Bo. Much appreciated. For a front loader on the new Steiger, that would certainly have enough weight in it, wouldn't it? I'm pleased you went a bit broader than just saying in the Manawa 2 because that really could have hurt my feelings. What I haven't told you is actually my kids do it all the time, it's not even me. All those years of bail stacking, been a lie. I haven't got anything I could put on the back. I don't think I do. Let's just have a look in the garage. Um, uh, no. Hitch, 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 hitched. <laughs> nope. Everything is trailered. Is 
Maybe some whites. I have to buy a white. I didn't even get that last one very far forward, did I? Some good physics, though. Whee! You must normally do lots of loading with four-wheel drive tractors because I haven't had the experience of not having a drive on the front like that before. <laughs> the part tire pressure in those front tires. I'll handle it. There we go. Just got to tip it, tip it back far enough like that. It's fine. Truck drivers just curse at the way I drop those down on the trailer. Sitting in there going steady on, steady on. That's why you use auto load. Modders make it. Shame not to. Good call, Andy. I like you. I like your train of thought. It's by white. Well, I could do. Here we go. Tipping back is actually helping, isn't it? It's that center of gravity and that weight further backwards on the forks. That's two, four, six, eight. That's sixteen. Four sixteens is what? Forty, fifty, sixty-four. I need more. I need more on. Not this load necessarily. Be five bales. I'd miss if I didn't do it here. This is where it all turns to custard. Oh no, that's that's all right, isn't it? That slid in there pretty nicely. Two more on the back. And we'll be good to go. 66 in the bank, don't know if you have enough dollars for a wait. Eh, I'm mindful of the fact I have a $9,000 loan payment going out every month, though. Plus, no doubt there'll be a whole lot of other issues financially with cost on equipment. I don't know. Just tipping it back like that helps. Um, anti farming, twenty pound super jet, money to buy a weight. Thank you, mate. <laughs> right, well, Andy's financing a weight, so we'll go and sort out a weight. I've even got store deliveries, so. Although that my my tipping technique has helped. Um, and bear bears den gaming sneaking in there. Thirty months a member. Hey, yo, Argsy and crew, welcome along, mate. Nice to see you. Oh, is that just great to strap that back bail on? I even limited the truck to a 300 horsepower truck, so she's struggling a little bit here with this. Right, now I'm going to find out my build trigger on my object storage isn't high enough. Let's have a look how this works. This is the, uh, this is the bail storage one. Also, don't know how it's going to work. Oh no, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Works a charm. So that is the... It's the outdoor bale storage one, but I decided to put it in under a tree. Under a shed. Under a roof. Come on. You can pull out of there. Struggling. Hey Nismo, how you doing mate? Happy Easter to you. <laughs> A tough year on Oxy's farm. Uh, thank you, Bo. I think limiting the truck to 300 horsepower was a good idea. It was at the time heavy one ton. It was a very good idea at the time. Well, 
with Andy's generosity, get sorted out of way. Added up your loans yesterday, one million in debt, but apparently I'm rolling in it. <laughs> you are living your best life. Now let's just double check. I've got full delivery set. You go into here. Right, what do we want? We're going to John Deere wait. Go for the big one, eh? Nineteen hundred dollars. I'm going to have to add five or ten percent on for delivery fees. Extra did that cost us? Extra forty nine. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Here we go. Inflation adjusted. The twenty pounds became two grand in Australia. Currency conversion and all that. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for the wait. This will be forever known as Andy's weight. Ooh, do share bear, do share. So anyone who hasn't been in stream before when bears is around. Bears Den Gaming has been on a big weight loss journey over the last uh, 12 months. So March 22nd was one whole year bear. I think the last time we talked, what did you lost like 140 pounds or something? Um, but do share after one year of uh, exercise, dieting, watching what you eat. Do share, mate. I'm, I can't wait. You've been a real inspiration to a lot of people. I know that coming in here and sharing it. We're going to get adventurous. Can we do three now? We've got to wait. Not if I tip them over. I was meant to do that. Um, 147 pounds, 66.6 kilos, 20 inches off your waist, 24% body fat loss, and went from a 3XL shirt to a large. Mate. Well done. Congratulations, dude. Oops. Um, that is, that's truly, truly inspirational and um, couldn't be happy for you. What an awesome, awesome achievement. And thank you so much for coming in and sharing it with us. Um, that was, it was one thing actually, I don't want to be negative or anything towards anyone um, or judging anyone or anything like that. I know everyone goes through the, their own issues and whatever it is associated with weight and health and everything like that. But that was one thing that sort of stuck with me after FarmCon was the general state of people there. Um, and you know, like I said, I'm not going to judge people because there's underlying health issues which can cause it or anything like that. But, you know, just I don't think of myself as a fit and healthy person, but I'm blessed with a body composition which I don't carry a lot of weight or anything like that. Um, but I felt tiny at FarmCon, put it that way. It was, um, it wasn't, it wasn't everyone, but there was certainly some, some big bodies there. So, um, definitely, definitely something that you can be incredibly proud of. Now it's time to get up to an Excel by building up that, those guns. There you go. You've done the shred. You've done the, yeah, the shed. Now it's the time for the shred. Shed the weight. Now get shredded. Get on you, man. Super impressive. It's awesome. You too, Benji. Have a good one, my friend. Pleasure having you here. Now, odds on this ending up in disaster and tears. Arxeta's finest gets overconfident on something. Struggled with two. Get away and go straight to three. You've got a huge worm. I sometimes think exactly the same, Andy. 
Good on you, FSG. Yeah, I know you and I have chatted about it a number of times. And you know, particularly with that whole farm con observation we both made and that kind of thing. Um I came back from FarmCon having this whole whole idea that I'd do, you know, people spend fifteen minutes sitting on your phone, sitting in front of a screen watching a video, twenty minutes. I had this whole idea and I just didn't know how oops how it would be achievable to basically link in some sort of fitness with a video. So you know, watch 15 minutes of my video, I'd rather you spend 15 minutes walking on a treadmill or carrying your phone around, headphones in and watching it while you go for a walk. But, um, yeah, just didn't know how to make it work, but I mean, if I can encourage people, if we can encourage people to get out and do that, I mean, I should practice what I preach and do it myself, just like FSG said. Like 60 next year, and yeah, ouch. Well, from what I've seen of you, you don't look a day over 30. You're way more active in your new career than you made, it, which is interesting, Rusty. I would have thought, you know, law enforcement officers would have been incredibly active. It depends what sort of work you're doing, but that's surprising, isn't it? I actually enjoy when I, you know, when football season starts again and I start working with the kids and training the kids actually, you know, end up getting the opportunity to have a run around with them and do things that you wouldn't normally do and actually finding that hour and a half, just being active out with them helps too. I had for the, the whole month of February, didn't have a beer at all. Had a few whiskies, just occasionally for the streams, but the whole month didn't have a single beer. Didn't actually miss it either, to be honest. A few social engagements. Wasn't too bad at all. Stacking's going so much. Yes, thank you, Andy. Stacking is going so much better. As long as I don't tip them over the top of the forks. We're still... I think I'm pretty much on my limit there. But typically me getting overconfident and going three high. Sam said I could do it, so I had to had to give it a go. And also being stupid and not strapping them down as I go, because the way this one's bobbling around up there, I'm going to lose something somewhere. Enjoy watching me for this video so it's your catch up time while exercising. Nice one. 15 kgs down since Christmas. Jeez, mate, that's awesome. Good on you. And it's, I mean, it would have been hard as well because it's winter. You, it's, for you guys, particularly, you know, your winter's pretty, pretty rough and pretty hard to get out and actually consciously make those um, exercise decisions or whatever you're doing. So good on you, mate. That's impressive. It's awesome. I mean, what are we? We're three months since Christmas, so you spread that over a year, that is that is 60 kilos. You aren't going to have that same achievement that Bears achieved. Don't, don't discredit what you've done. At all. Right, I'm going to grab the truck. Originally a Tartan headband, yeah. Gene Simmons, watch out. I'm a little bit worried those top bales on the left hand side aren't strapped down at the moment.
Good thing we're not going too far because I don't think the Department of Transport will be too happy with this load. Too many 10 sevens for data breaks. <laughs> she used to loot walk a lot before you strange. See, that's what I'm saying about people with, you know, there, there might be genuine reasons why they're not able to be as active as they used to be. So I'm never going to judge anyone because of that, but just uh, it's just good to know that there is for those who are able to make a difference in their own lives. Four on there now, thank you, Tim. Yeah, two and two. I could actually. I'm not going to. Town of 1900 people will move around more in case parts than you did as a cop. Oh, did I save that? Just. <laughs> No, 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 that one's not going to stay, is it? No, that one's gone. What is it with these bales sliding off the forks? It's interesting, isn't it? Slippery, slidey bales. Talked the other day, asked by smoke. I was like, most weekends. And then I said, uh, cheeky. Kiwi comment if you've ever heard one. Hey Scott, how you doing? Good to see you mate. To you. Eating like ah. Uh, oh, don't knock it over again. Eating like a bird. What, you're in the parrot food? Which just is taking longer than I thought. We're not actually going to get anywhere near starting in our um, build prep. Oh my goodness, not driving like that either. You... Rocky. Bit of a polite way to call myself a imbecile. Um, doing good, mate. Doing good. Trying to trying to be too arrogant with my bail stacking, to be honest. To calm it down a peg, bring it down a level, figuratively, and concentrate a little bit more on it. Who would have thought it would take two hours to... I don't even have to windrow that much, more or less. Oh, goodness. This is an ugly stack. Needed a bigger weight. Should have got a bigger weight, Argsy. Lose that bale off the top at this rate too. Oof. Trying to be cocky with loading bales. Yeah, well, we struggled through the first one without a weight on the back, and then Andy came through and financed a weight for me, so we were able to able to buy a weight. And then I thought, well, we've got a weight now. Let's stack three high. Started off all right. First couple went okay, but then it's been a bit of a bit of a graft. These ones I need to be able to get this top one on, I actually should need to pick it up lower on the bale. I'm trying to use the bale to sort of hold it in place and slide it out. Without it tipping over. It's the auto load function. This is where I say, right, we're going to end the stream there. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I might finish clearing these bales off stream and uh, we'll see you next time where we'll be into field preparation. Genuinely, I probably will end up clearing the last few of these off. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going, Scott. <laughs> I'm not going yet. I probably should. After the last couple of bales I'll put on here. That's better. The great 2024 bail massacre. <laughs> yeah. It's like a train crash. I mean, I'd, I would have left the stream by now, but everyone's just watching to see how much how, how much better it gets. 
Surely it can't get any worse. Then a second train comes along. Adds to the chaos. Alright. More concentration is required, really. That's my problem. Too much gas bagging. It's too out of the way. Oh, goodness. I don't grapple works better with the rack bales. I don't know. They seem to be sliding a lot, don't they? Could be any number of things, though. An auto load works better with the rack bales, that's for sure. Might be the colour. Slippery Australian bales. Yes, I know. I put just put hundreds of holes in the silage bales. I think I commented about that earlier. Imagine doing these all with actual grabs though. Oh no. My goodness. Definitely the fastest bale stacker in the uh, Hugsy household. I don't even know if I deserve that title at the moment. Wouldn't have been a problem with the fin. But you're going to say JCB? Damn. I'm, I am persevering with the three bales though, aren't I? I don't know how that stayed on. How many is on that load? 24? 12 on each side? 24 so far. Shouldn't say so far, but we can get some on the back. Oh, the guy. <laughs> He's a busy man in there, isn't he? A lot going on in that cab. Uh, fork always. It does seem to slide, doesn't it? I've noticed that. Look, that is ugly. That's, that's embarrassingly ugly, that load of bales. Right. I'm not going to get carried away and try and put. More than I need to on this back. But there or not. I'm not even gonna get those strapped on, not too far. Too far gone. Just look the other way for a second. This is an excellent impression. <laughs> oh, goodness. Put it in cab driving. Mrs. Huxley would do better. I think she probably could do. Oh. Uh. God, I don't have to unload them at the other end. Even even YouTube was trying to save me the blushes. It's like, now would be a good time to insert an ad. <laughs> oh. oh, Paul, thank you very much, mate. Nice to see you. Alright, bales be gone. That bit's the easy bit. <sighs> right. 
let's get this finished. Let's get this field finished so at least when we're back on Wednesday night we can start ploughing. What have I got left out here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26. I need to go triples. I need to triple it up. Can I put the pot on the back of a trailer? <laughs> oh, the ad was a bail stacker. Wouldn't that be just... Karma. See, that wasn't me. That was the bail sliding off. I'm with Taz. Put a portable Arxy mod. I was looking at how much work you made for yourself putting a silage bunker down FSG with having to transport all of that, load it and transport it all to the cell point. I thought, oh, I'll use bales. That'll be the smart one. That way. Of course, I have to load these all out of the storage place and put them on the back of a truck at some stage yet too. It's going to be in the way. what I feel like doing. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the stream and go and have a cry. No. I want to get the field outlined. So. Look at that. One and two might be the way to do it. To get a nice stack of three. My architect better than I stack. I don't know about that, Bo. Oh. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to park that for now. We're going to go and outline our field. Going to get it, Bales. Right. Um. <laughs> let's go get our field. Semi created. See what happens. That's why nothing looks that's why nothing straight on modern houses. That's exactly right. Uh now I heard what Scorp said. Do we not actually have to um he said he made some comment about these being See, I don't have field create. I didn't realise this. See, the way the map's been made, you don't actually have to create the fields. No way, this isn't that painful. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thought I was going to go that slow. Although, has it only created it after I've mowed it? I'm intrigued now. It doesn't look like it's expanding past the grass area. That's the mowing which has created the field. Wow. Let's find a piece that I haven't done and just see what happens. Once you mow the grass, it turns into a field. Yeah, it's clever. I didn't realise that. I noticed it on the map, obviously, but I didn't realise that's what it actually, what it actually did. That's very cool. I like that name for Mvuta, Novine. We'll call him Novine from now on. It's a bit of bovine. That's yeah, very cool. So I had noticed it on the mini map, but I didn't realise that it meant that I don't have to turn field create on. But I also don't have to go past the edges of um where I've mowed. So that explains that probably Explains, no, I didn't do that on. I thought I had the same thing happening on, uh, on, 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 on Tahitian County, but that doesn't explain it because I didn't mow any of the field areas on that. Um, goodness, this is going to be painfully slow, though. Let's have a look at this. I'm sure I had this tractor all sussed out. So that's 300 horsepower. The plough only needs 250. 
I don't know why it's struggling so much. Might be one of those things, I was talking about this with FSG last night too, about the gearing. Struggling, eh? Really struggling. Spring Creek was the same way. Yeah. Things you learn. You've played this game for so long, you just didn't even realise it. Ah, but I need to have field create on for those sections. Here we go. I'll come back and tidy those up later. I wonder if it'll work for the bits I've actually mowed where I used so I added the real mower on to and just checked it and I did get some of the mowing in the middle so just have to suss that out but oh goodness this is going to be painful mowing plowing at this rate need a big buddy engine upgrade I'm limited to 300 horsepower and I thought 300 horsepower and a 250 horsepower plow would be fine Cheers Stephen, have a good one too mate, thanks for hanging out, appreciate you. Okay. Turn on create fields and turn it off when I go through those bits if I remember. Mini map, I need to pick an angle running along here. Because it's not on a not on a good angle to try and do it on. Just have to try and stay close to the edge of the road. Enough. According to this, we actually own quite a bit of road between uh, quite a bit of space between here and the road. In fact, we must own the land on the other side of this track, do we? Uh, let's have a look. Oh no, it only goes as far as the road. It's just showing where the train tracks are. Okay, that makes sense. But yes, uh, um, performance upgrade might be needed. This is going to take a while to plow. Not just this field, but all of them. What I wanted to find out was what would happen with... Um, what would happen with course play if I outline the field, whether I'd get a field... If it's created the field, does that mean Courseplay would pick it up now? It has. Oh, so there we go. Already detected the field. Handy. Good to know. John should have put a tutorial on setting up the torque scale. Yes, is you're only running. Yeah. They, um,. There's lots they should have put tutorials out on scooter. If you don't have the gear ratios correct, your horsepower real stuff really suffers. So again, we were talking about that last night with the the Ford, is it the FW35, FW60, I can't remember the big articulated Ford I'm using on Tahitian County, it's exactly the same. And I have to manually shift between low and high to get it to work really well. Be nice. There's obviously, no multi-terrain angle on the map either. Just looking at that, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, oh, we do have an angle there, slightly off it. Not as many angles as it would be nice to have. Now, will it keep on ploughing through land? I don't know. Nope. Okay, there we go. There's our boundary. It's not too complicated once you figure it out, but figuring it out took hours and days, right. It is just one of those things though, isn't it? It would have been if they're gonna provide that functionality. And again, you know, comment I made to FSG last night was 
it's great that they've added things like the gearboxing and all of that sort of thing and as a bit of a realism feature but at the same time if it doesn't work with some of the standard stuff it's probably a little bit redundant I guess that's where this comes into play a little bit in some areas spots in the fields will not play without field correct yeah I think that's these where these bushes are if I go through this one it won't won't disappear either from what I've picked up so far Yeah, cheers, but I'm going to wrap things up very soon anyhow. Gone for a couple of hours and we're going to get some other things sorted out today. So I can hear, well, it sounds like everyone had a sleep and I've hardly seen anyone out yet this morning. Family's starting to rustle. Of course, they all have, well, Mrs. Argsy's got the whole week off. Kids have got tomorrow off school as well. Just me back to work. Giants had it perfect, just replicate the problem on other mods. I hear you on that. To my Anywhere object storage, they were telling me I had errors around collision masks and all sorts, and I could not replicate the error. And they just kept on sending me back the log saying, here's the error. I'm like, well, how can I test if I fix the error if I can't actually see an error in anything? So I don't actually know how, where that error was generated from. It was just a weird one. I just had to follow the line and say, right, what's the error? What is it saying? How do I, what have I done wrong to fix it? And it was something I'd done wrong, I admit it, but it was just, I couldn't tell if I'd fixed it without sending it back for testing because I couldn't find a log that had the error in it. A little bit frustrating. No cold coffee. Better than no coffee. Keep going, Arxy, he's better than TV. Well, no, he's, he's putting me on the TV. He's just dropping out of chat, so he's still watching. Or are you telling me I should keep going because I'm better than TV? Right. So the plan is, the plan is, I will carry on with some uh, bale stacking over the next couple of days I'll jump in and get all those bales cleared out and then we will be able to focus on getting this field prepped and planted so I want to get it ploughed, I want to get it scanned I want to get some lime applied um, what else do I need to do I think those are the main things so if we can get that, that all done then uh, we should be cracking into it be good to get a crop planted in here if we can um that would be the dream so we'll just have to have to wait and see come back and tidy up a few spots but um fix this and do that so i did it and did something new just gave up i've heard of plenty of people who've done that yeah cheers you're on thanks mate you have a good one too Yeah, you complain about the fix. Yeah, I think I might have got caught a little bit too with this whole new mod testing team, and yeah, you know, maybe people not understanding what could be done. But that's all right. Uh, beyond better than TV, thanks, mate. Nothing good on TV in Denmark. Uh, what's the name of my storage system, Mark? It's called Anywhere Object Storage, Thomas, and it looks like oh, I can't see it in here. It's a placeable. Anyhow, um, it's a mod hub. Just if you go to mod hub and just search for Argsy, you'll find it because it should find it by creator, mod author. So go and check that out. Um, yeah. Anyhow, like I said, we'll get some things done and we should be into planting this field next week, which will be exciting. 
um, other than that I think I am going to wrap things up there so once again thank you everyone for hanging out today it's been awesome stream awesome to be able to bring you an extra stream for the week um, we will be back here on No Man's on Wednesday night um, to carry on things and then next week it will be another multiplayer stream so if you're interested in joining into those feel free to jump in to discord and uh, grab the details be awesome to have as many people helping as we can um, I'm hoping the weekend multiplayers will just allow more people give more people flexibility to join in so that was the plan and reason for changing them over um, otherwise thank you everyone who's been here today it's been awesome having so many viewers for such a long period of time it's awesome um, just great seeing the numbers sort of grow and grow I had this this dream of hitting 20,000 subs by the time um, FS25 or whatever the next game is might come out later in the year if it does come out it would be awesome to have 20,000 subs so we're 2,500 over the year it would be a stretch but um, it's a challenge and I'm keen for it so if you've got a friend, someone you know who might enjoy the content please do share it with them but otherwise you all have a good rest of your weekend enjoy the rest of your Easter I hope it is a fun one and uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you all again soon take care, bye